Wait, what? Flap is Strange episode two came out. Oh. All right. Welcome back to Life is Strange episode dos. Beloa two. All right, that was kind of horrible. But let me adjust this real quick. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah. Alright. Oh no, it's time to move. Stay. Okay. Life is Strange Episode 2. Look at this loading. Look at this menu screen. Holy crap. That's... That's actually pretty cool looking. I'm not even looking to lie. So, we're on to a brave... Or the Brave New World. There is Chloe and Rachel... Here we go, we are gonna start it off Wazam. Oh wait no, whoops, start episode. Ah, I'm the best. <laughs> okay. I got another haircut, but I lost a little bit of the top in the process, but who cares? We're here to play some Previously life. on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Not Frank. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me? on a little field trip. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh yeah. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. So yeah, she's still mad over that. Is this Principal Wells? Is that his name? Or the principal? Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then Oh, just, they got caught. Sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Oh, what? Uh, I wasn't even paying attention either. I was trying to write something down. I'll just be quiet. Oh, wait. No, let me refresh your memory. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. 
Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. What? The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. Then how do you explain the desecration of Mr. Prescott's photography project? I didn't say I was successful. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? Damn. I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Yeah, I'm gonna back up my mom, man. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell <laughs> the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. She I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See... Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Of course. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is. Oh yeah, she is. Actress. She's in the, the, the acting thing. I remember that. Miss Price. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber. Based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Bring it up. Hey. Bring it up. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm was... just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Oh. Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Enjoy the show, yep. Yeah? You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? <coughs> Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. What? Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's David. past behavior <laughs> that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh. No. <sighs> mm. 
What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is so. Such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. What? What are the options here? No, oh, dude, I, f I, f I, f I feel black. I fuck. I feel bad for Rachel, man. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down the flames up. if I want I to up. fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess to thinking she can act like a... Motherfucker, you just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. No! No! Oh, shit. Uh, I How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. <laughs> Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Uh, uh... Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. I did that! That's so hard. Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. Oh. Uh, what? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. You are expelled. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Dang. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? 
Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Holy crap. It's a cat. <laughs> that was it. Alright, uh... What's this? Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Says. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Alright. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Yeah, she doesn't really have that much. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Do we have that much stuff in there? Yeah, I'm learning chemistry right now. That's the school book, is it? I learned that. I learned geometry last year. Fuck that. That shit sucked. Isn't that a school book or what? Here we go. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? What? Damn it, Justin. Ha! Ah, get wrecked. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? What is she gonna do? She's gonna blow this place up, huh? I'm kidding. Oh, this is the intro to the episode. Ah. Oh, she's gonna. She's gonna. No one asked me for dances because I only know how to flail. Yeah. I always sit like I'm drowning. Dead arms around him. I'd rather stand still. Hold tightly to the walls. No care, no care. No <sighs> I'm gonna get a uh, copyright infringement for this. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty good. It's a good drawing. Do you want a quote from Max? I saw that. Like this principal Wells on the left. What the heck? Oh, that's Victoria.
Later, Skip. Bye, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. <coughs> You're hella weird. Oh god, not the hella again, dude. No. Awesome. My bad. I'm like... What's this? Max would have loved this shit. Oh, it's the plays. Hey, Joyce. It's about damn time. David, please. Oh, is he starting to be an asshole now? Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. I don't care. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you do? They... You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. He's starting to get pissed off pretty easily now. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and It's more calmer last episode. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do.